guys, George here. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get the real names, uh, logos, kits and faces in Foot Ranger 2021. It's just been released today, so I thought it would be a good idea to make this video to show some of you guys how to do it. As you can see, I've got Foot Ranger open in the background. You can see I've got these nice 3D match kits. I've got the United kit there, as they are the team I support. So I've got those in the game. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you how to get all of this. Uh, guys, if this content does help you, if this video does help you, please leave a like because it helps other people to find the video that may need to know how to do this. And please, 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 if you could, please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 150 subscribers before Christmas, so that would be really helpful if you could subscribe. But I guess without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So then guys, you're going to want to head to this website called FM Scout. I will leave all the links to what you need uh, for everything mentioned in this video down in the description. So it's easy for you to find. Uh, but this is the real names fix. This check fixes the fake names of the competitions, clubs, awards with their real names in Football Manager 2021. So you want to download, of course, I'm going to download it. It's going to take me to a different page. It's just going to load for a second uh, and then download will begin soon and we'll just let that download but obviously you can see there's a preview down here and it changes some of the club names to the longer ones it changes the champions league name to the actual champions league um and obviously like the english premier division to the premier league so i'll do all that so now i've downloaded this i'm going to show you guys how to get the real names into your game Right then guys, so to open the real names fix and many of the files that we're going to need in this video, you want to use a, uh, a RAR opening program software. Uh, so I use a program called WinRAR, I'll link that below in the description, it's free and you can get the things open, the files open with it and you can see here we've got our file. So I'm just going to put this over here, get our folder back up. So you want to go to this PC, local disk. Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fort 2021, Data, Database, DB, and then you want to go to the bottom file on here, uh, which for me at the current release time is 2111. So guys, just to clarify on this, this will update throughout the year, so when they do the winter transfer update it will change and stuff like that. So literally when that does happen, all these names will go back uh, to the fake one. So all you need to do is paste these two files back into there again, which I'm going to show you how to do now. And this, of course, does work for every single football manager. Um, the uh, file start bit, so for last year it would have been 2011. Um, as this little file name. So for this first one, what you want to do is go to ink all and then you can see these files here. The ones that you want to delete are N League, Lick Dance Way Fra, and Fake. So delete all those and then we bring our WinRAR files over here, select them both, and then just drop them into the folder. And that is it for the first folder. So the next thing we're going to do guys is you want to go back to uh, DB, actually no you can go back to 2111 and this time you're going to go into the EDT folder, you're going to go to permanent and then you can see that we've got the fake EDT file here, all you want to do is delete that and that's all you need to do for this file. Then you're going to want to go back to 2111 once again, find it DBC, permanent and then there's a few files that you want to gonna delete here. So to get Juventus named back to Juventus, you want to delete these two files, Zebra Award and Zebra Shore and Fake Staff. You want to delete Licensing to DBC, Licensing to CHN DBC, and Brazil Kits and for Forbidden Names DBC. So once you've deleted all of those, that should be you good. And that should be your uh, real names in Football Manager. I think that should be it, guys. Let's get on to the real logos, kits, and faces. Right then, guys. So I'm going to show you now how to get the real faces in Football Manager. But first, you're going to want to download a program called uTorrent. 
Uh, obviously, this is an external website for a download, but the uTorrent website seems to be a bit dodgy at the moment. It's not really working. It's just going to a 404 error. So I'll leave the link to this one in the description. It's completely safe. Don't worry about it. You just download the latest version of uTorrent, install uTorrent. Uh, I would advise on declining all of the um, ad offers and stuff. Uh, so just make sure you look out for those. And then once you've done that, you'll be all good to get the faces. So I'm going to go over to the DF11 Mega Pack. So, I'll, of course, link this in the description. So, this is where you guys are going to get all of your faces. And, in my opinion, this is the best face pack uh, that you can get all in one. It's the easiest one to do. Because you get it all in one big file. Uh, and it's really easy. So, you want to make sure you're on the mega pack, which will be linked anyway. And then you want to scroll down all the way to download via torrent. So, DF11 mega pack, August 2020. So there's 142,000 faces in here. You've got the torrent download type, and you can see here it's 13.3 gigs large. Obviously, this is quite a big file size, so depending on how fast your internet is, it might uh, take a while to download it. But you get all of your faces that you're going to need on here. So all we do is click download via torrent. Right then, guys, so what you can also do is just download the torrent file. It'll open a RAW file. Double click on your torrent file. This will open up a little window in uTorrent, and it'll say 13.13 gig. All you need to click is OK, and then what you're going to want to do is right-click bandwidth allocation and put it on high. But I've obviously already downloaded this, so I'm just going to stop and remove the torrent. So that's all you need to do for your faces, and I'm going to show you how to put them into the game. Right then, guys, so you'll have a zip file with the DF11 Mega Pack inside. And what you want to do is extract this to your desktop, just this folder, you can extract it to your desktop. It might take a while because obviously it is 13 gigabytes, but uh, once you've done that, all you, all you need to do is drag the file from your desktop and place it in Foot 100 2021. You go to Documents, Sports Interactive, Foot 100 2021, Graphics, and then what you want to do is create all your things that you're going to put in so you've got your faces here create that faces folder and then you just want to place it inside here and as you can see we've got all the faces in here now guys they release updates every month for this so you can scroll back to the top here we can find updates and they do an update every month season 2020 21 and you want to download every single update you don't have to but I would say download it via torrent and it's the exact same process as before and then you just copy and paste it into your drive and if it asks you to overwrite the files then do that and that's fine. But guys that is all you need to do for the faces and then your face will be in Foot Manager 2021. Let's get in to the logos. Right then guys, so you're going to want to go to tcmlogos.com, as of course, it will be linked in the description, and it will take you right to this FM21 logo pack page. Scroll down, it does say here the Manchester United logo is not present in this pack due to Im image rights issues, but there is a way to get it, which I'll show you in a minute. So you just want to download it, and then you can download it through Mediafire, Mega, or Optobox. And then this should download as a RAW file, and what you want to do with your RAW file is go to your go to your downloads, find it, extract your mega pack to your desktop once again, and then place it inside your new logos folder that you're going to create just by doing a new folder and then calling it logos, and then go inside, paste it in there, and that should be fine. So guys, to get your Manchester United logo in the game, you're going to want to go to your Mega Pack, Graphics, Logos, Europe, Angleterre, Clubs, Normal, and then you're going to want to open my Mediafire um, RAW file that I've linked in the description, so you want to download that, and this features the Manchester United logo. So in your Normal, you want to open the large folder, and then copy this file, and then you're just going to want to paste it in there. I'm just going to replace it, because why not? And there you go. There's your Manchester United logo. Right. Then, for your small one, you want to go back into clubs. Small. And then in your WinRAR file, you're going to want to go to small. And then PNG. And then stick it in there. Let's replace it. 
and there's your small Manchester United logo. So that is literally all you need for your logos. But what you might have to do is scroll down to this config file right down here. You need to do this for both logos, both the large and the small. And then you want to go open with notepad, get it along here, and then control F, 680, find. And you might not have this in here, so if you don't, you can literally just copy and paste the one that's 679 and uh, add a new line, press tab along for this, for the next one along, and then you just paste it and change these two files from 679 to 680, and then this one over here, 679 to 680. Obviously, this will be on this blank file there. And then you just want to hit save. And you need to do that for both your files. And then before that, you need to go control F again. 680 once again. And then it should say down here, record from 680 to the icon. You want to do the same here. Just change it from 679 to 680. Copy your file tab it along this one and then just copy and paste it there. That's all you need to do for your, for your United logo. And then now let's move on to the final part, the kits. So then guys, finally, what you want to do is go to sortoutsi.net. And I'm gonna show you how to get 3D kits and just normal kits. First, we're gonna do the 3D kits. So you can see these in the match engine. I've also got those, those were the ones at the start that you could see in Football Manager. So you've got your English level leagues and just download this. And then also to get the other kits, you want to go to Football Manager kits, SS kits, packs, and then you see you've got all of these. You can download ex absolutely any one you want. You've got your English one here. Download this one. You do need to create an account, but it's absolutely free. And then you can download your files. Then what you need to do is get them into the game. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So then, guys, you want to go to Documents once again, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2021, Graphics, Kits. And then, as you can see, I've got all of these ones here. So you just want to paste your England levels 1 to 6, and then your 3D kits in, in there as well. And that's absolutely all you need to do files-wise. And then, now, I'm going to show you how to get them in the game. So then, guys, now all you need to do is jump into Football Manager, go to Preferences, Interface, and then... What you want to do is tick reload skin when confirming changes and untick use caching to decrease page loading times. Hit confirm and this is going to say loading image data for the new skin. And it'll take a while because you've obviously got a lot of things and you should magically have all your new logos and you can check this by going to start a new game, career and then in your quick start you should have all your logos here ready for you to use in the game so then guys that is it i really hope that you enjoyed the video uh if the video helps you please leave a like down there it helps other people to find it and then they know what to do as well if you could consider subscribing as well i'm trying to hit reach 150 subscribers before christmas as i said at the start of the video so if you could do that that would be absolutely amazing but hope this is this has helped you guys uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you have a great football manager save. For now, it's George. Out.